just been literally, it's been nice. I've been reading, I've listened to an audio book. I'll tell you what, there's one thing Pino definitely know how to do well. I'm starting to get to that stage as well, but I'm starting to get a bit sad. We've still got five full days left of the cruise, but you know, like when it's coming towards like, and you wouldn't believe what's in this morning, guys, the Morella Explorer. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Port. Are we on part six, may I find? It depends how many episodes this turns out to be, maybe part 50. No, welcome back to a brand new vlog, guys. Right, so you may have read and you may have saw in the title. Today is formal night and I'm gonna be completely honest, Stevie is like, I really don't wanna get dressed up and we've been on the cruise now for like eight nights and I'm kinda like, I'm not over formal night, but we've already done it once. And then other nights we've been getting dressed up on camera. So I've just got back from the gym, did a good workout and I went down to the spa and I just spoke to one of the ladies and she was like, I was like, is there anything I can do tonight in the spa? She was like, everything's available, it's really quiet. And I said, oh, I wonder, is the thermal suite available, the pool bit? And she was like, yeah, no one's in, completely free until 10 o'clock. And the spa staff know me down there. So she was like, do you want in? <laughs> I was like, yes, literally, how much is it? Paid the money. So yes, tonight I am heading down to the thermal spa. I've got it all to myself. I'm literally heading down in 15 minutes. For some of you who this might be your first episode or for some of you that have been following along on this series, we've already done one formal night. We've been on the cruise for eight days. Um, I don't even think I can fit <laughs> in my formal outfit anymore. Um, it's been a heavy few days. Let's just put that way with the food we've been eating. So. <laughs> So yeah, I just want to wait. I just can't. No, I, honestly, I just want a night where I'm just chilling. And just a quick one, if you're like me and you're thinking, I really don't want to do formal night for the second time, then the spa is available. And like I say, it's completely quiet. No one else has booked in. And um, they, they've said they've got like two massages tonight. I was like, oh my God, maybe formal nights are the nights when you head to the spa. And here we go. This is all to myself. No one else in here. This is me sorted for tonight, people. <laughs> I'm excited. So, I think I've showed you, I don't know, I did show you briefly around this on the ship tour, but I thought I would just show you a little bit more. Apologies, it is really dark in here. So I'm going to try and show you to my best ability. Obviously, you've got this lovely water, which I'm going to spend most of my night in. And then over here, you've got the hot, um, the hot beds. These are gorgeous. I remember sitting on these for ages on Iona. Perfect. I can't believe I've got this all to myself. There's not a single other person here. Like, this is the best night. And then we've got the salt steam room, which is really, really nice. I absolutely love the salt steam room. And then we've got the awesome showers. Look at them, man. Oh. And then you've got the sauna. And then you've got the cooling room as well. So obviously I'm going to be in here, so I'll show you a bit around. They usually have as well, let me just go over here. They usually have fresh water. There's actually no fresh water here, but you've got your, you've got your towel, you've got your thingy here as well. So you can have, you can have a drink and stuff, which is, yeah, really good. Mm -hmm. You better tell the truth real fast. And then we're probably done at last Cause I got somewhere to be And you're done deceiving me Into thinking I couldn't do better Yeah, I know I was probably crazy Thinking someday you'd change There's nothing left to do now So I'm playing the game And so Heartbreaker, I've been working you out You may know Right, so it's about an hour and a half to two hours later and I just want to quickly share something with you. Apologies about the flicker. But these showers are the best showers I've ever had in my life. And all I'm going to tell you, right, is they've got five different settings. You go through all the settings, but it starts off like ice. That's all I'm going to say. I was absolutely freezing, right? But then by the time you get to like number three, four, five, it's like boiling. And I can't begin to tell you the feeling. You're in there and number one, I can feel a cold from here and you're shaking. I can't, it's like, honestly, it's freezing. And then number three, you're boiling. Oh, it's so lovely. It really is nice. I am, um, I love that shower. Um, I've not been in the sauna yet. To be honest, I'm not really a sauna person. Let me just have a look what it's like in there. Yeah, I'm not fancy in there at all. I've just been in the steam room though. 
and steam room's lovely. I'll show you this um, board as well, so it tells you the information, so like the temperatures. Obviously, just pause the video at any point if you want to read any of this. I've loved it. I've and I've, like I say, guys, I've had it all to myself. Not a single other person has been in here through the whole time. I've just been literally, it's been nice. I've been reading. I've listened to an audio book. I've been cashing up with you guys on Instagram. You know, it's just been really nice. I'm actually going to jump in. I've got 20 minutes left, so I'm going to jump back in here. And then I think I'll catch up with you when I leave. Well, I'll take the local authorities have been completed. And I'm pleased to say you're now able to go ashore. Before going ashore today, please be aware that we have established a secure zone around the ship and our security procedures require that you must be prepared to show your cruise card to enter this zone in addition to showing it to the security staff at the gangway when leaving or boarding the ship. When boarding the ship, the security staff will set your hand baggage and we request that you do not carry on board any parcels or baggage for the benefit of a stranger. The gangways today are located on the port side of deck 3 and can be accessed using either the forward or midships stairs and lifts. When proceeding ashore, take care of the gangways and always take hold of the handrails. If you are on a short experience today, remember to take your tickets with you. And please carefully read the information in the Horizon newspaper. That will tell you where and when you need to meet. It is a local requirement today that all guests proceeding ashore must carry with them a government issued form of photo ID. Oh. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Hope you're all good. Um, last night was absolutely gorgeous in that jacuzzi. We actually ended up going to the buffet at 11 o'clock. I didn't vlog it because the buffet is like the London Marathon at 11 o'clock at night. And everyone's sitting there waiting to go and it's like, ah! everyone runs for the food. Steve, you didn't get anything though, did you? And you wouldn't believe what's in this morning, guys, the Morella Explorer. And I've just said to Stevie, I remember the last time I saw this ship was when we were on the Oceana. And the Oceana was only a little bit bigger than this. So when you put it into perspective, if the size, I know I've talked about the Oceana a lot, but we do miss the Oceana. Oceana, please come back. <laughs> this is literally like, it's crazy. I think one day we will go on Morella because Emma's told me Morella is amazing, so. I think one day we will. It's more of a relaxed cruise line rather than this being more, you know, people getting dressed up at the crack of dawn and, and you know. And this morning we are in the Meridian. We're gonna have breakfast. This is the first time on a port day that we're actually in the Meridian, the MDR. But I thought it would be really good. We are actually doing an excursion today. We're gonna be swimming. Um, I thought we need to have a good breakfast on us. As you can see, the table, it's very quiet in here actually this morning. And this is the menu for anyone interested. If just you just want to pause the video at any point, there's quite a few different options in the in the main dining option, in the main dining room. I usually get the omelets, but yesterday I did get the low sugar granola, which was really, really nice. You've got the other page as well, which you can get like a P&O cruise breakfast, which is basically a full English. I think that's what my family used to get when they would be on here. Get the Eggs Benedict, I highly recommend the Eggs Benedict. Just a quick one, I just thought I would add this in. The MDR isn't the only place, when I say MDR by the way, I'm not trying to be all fancy main dining and restaurant, it's just quicker to say. I don't think it actually is quicker to say, but I don't think it's the same. But there's many different places you can get breakfast on the ship in the morning. You've got the main dining restaurants, you've actually got the buffet as well, but you haven't just got the buffet, you've also got the keys. So you've got three main places you can get breakfast. I would say if you're looking for something quick, snappy, you want to get your breakfast early this morning, the buffet is always your best bet because that's the earliest place you can get your breakfast in the morning opens at 6.30 a.m. If you're looking for something maybe a little bit more um, busier, <laughs> and you, everyone's rushing around everywhere than the keys. Um, what I will say about the keys actually is, this is no disrespect to other passengers, but sometimes people's manners are just literally out the way and people are nudging and pushing and shoving. Um, I do find the keys uh, quite uncomfortable, to be honest, so I, I tend to stay away from the keys. These vlogs are always honest in my opinions and obviously I'm giving you them, you know, you don't have to take them, so obviously you can just not listen to me. But yeah, the keys is horrific actually. And then 
you've got your more your relaxed place which is the main dining restaurant so it's more of a restaurant you feel you can pick what you want obviously you are selected to that menu you can actually ask the staff for other things but you are kind of restricted to be honest everywhere is busy on the ship on a poor day for breakfast because everyone's got the same idea apologies um the sun's got really bright here all of a sudden <laughs> but yeah so you've got your three options and uh me personally i love the main dining restaurant the only reason why we've not eaten in here is because stevie prefers the buffet so i've kind of been like okay we'll go to the buffet but today i thought let's do the main dining restaurant it's a bit quieter a bit nicer and it's it's there's no one here and that's always a good thing <laughs> and my omelette has arrived look at that it's actually a good size as well actually really good size and stevie's pancakes have arrived stevie are they good yep I tell you what, there's one thing P and O definitely know how to do well. Is our omelette. Also, every single day they do, like, I'm sorry about the angle, but I'm just cautious about getting other people in the vlog. <laughs> every single day they do uh, like a smoothie of the day. This is like a berry, soda, syrupy, honey gorgeousness it's so good here we go guys we are off the ship there's the morella discovery there's ours and i just want to quickly mention about this cruise port you are meant to have a photo id on you but they're saying you can use your phone as photo id so just bear that in mind because they may ask for it sometimes they're asking for it and sometimes they're not so you put a party vibe in here innit? yeah For anyone interested, it was the snorkel and swim by boat excursion with PO. Absolutely loved it, it was absolutely amazing. Really enjoyed it. You would have saw we uh, we didn't see like a great deal amount of fish compared to last time, but it was still really really good. And we're now in St. Kitts's cruise port. We've got about half an hour before we're getting on the ship, and it is all thriving out here, man. It's so good. This is absolutely gorgeous, you know, this port. And the weather is absolutely stunning. Bless Stevie, he's been doing deliveries for the family. Family have been asking for stuff picked up. There's loads here, you've got more shops down there. This is definitely one of the most liveliest ports that we've visited so far. I'm really liking it. Oh, by the way, anyone who's interested in like toilets and stuff like that, you need the toilet and breaks and whatever. Loads of toilet facilities here. But yeah, there's loads. You've got quite a few duty-free shops as well. Starting to get to that stage as well, but I'm starting to get a bit sad. We've still got five full days left of the cruise. But you know, like when it's coming towards like, we've only got five days left. Because one of the things I will say about when you're cruising is like, they like to tell you that you're getting off soon. Like, it, what happens is, is like four days before you'll get a notification to say, it's time to get off soon. This is your balance and then they'll start delivering your cruise tags and then it's like plan your trip home it's like we've still got four days leave us alone oh guys we're just doing a little bit of gift shopping and look at some of these ten dollars for that it is so tempting it's got frog on it oh baby frog that's so cute and then a little dolphin oh these are all ten dollars this is really good oh little monkey oh 
Oh, that's so cute. That would be perfect, but it's got the wrong thing on. It should be dad, not mum. Um, oh, oh, this is cute as well. Oh, playing cards. Do you know, I was thinking about buying some gifts for people at home, you know. I've been awful. I really have been awful. Oh, oh, look at this as well. Oh, there's so many good stuff in this shop. This shop is called the Yacht Club Company, St. Kitts. These are good, these, mind. Have you had a good day in St. Kitts with no top on, Stevie? What you like? Yeah, it's been good. I'm glad I haven't bought something for once. I know, it's nice, you know. You need to do that more often. It is nice to treat yourself, you know. You've got to treat yourself these days. Oh, there's a cute little cat in the terminal. Oh, it looks really... It literally looks hungry. Oh, it wants food. That will be a stray, Stevie, unfortunately. That will be a stray. Oh. Pss, 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 pss. Oh, is there anywhere we can buy food for it? Oh, that cat was so cute, bless it. Oh. I really hate seeing, you know, like stray pets and stuff. There's, we've saw a lot of stray pets on this trip. We actually saw a stray dog um, earlier on around as well, bless. Oh, all I want to do is go and buy some food or, or something for them, bless. Oh, I've loved seeing Kit, you know. We've had, it has been a brilliant cruise. Do you know, I feel like every single day I'm saying, oh, we've had a brilliant day, it's been really nice, we've done this and we've done that. But every single port we've absolutely loved. Every single port has been unbelievable. Like, I, there's not a single port that we've been to so far that I thought's not been good. Oh, and we're now just back on the ship. And I thought before we do anything, I have to show you this view. How gorgeous is St. Kitts? That will be Nevis as well. So St. Kitts and Nevis are separate islands. And uh, Nevis is the tall mountain, so that will be Nevis over there. Let, obviously, in the comments, let me know if I'm wrong. You know me, my vlogs aren't always 100% accurate. So is that Nevis? <laughs> Someone let me know in the comments. But Look at that man, it's gorgeous. And you can see the Tui Marilla Explorer is just next to us. And I still can't get what there. Crazy golf course looks amazing by the way. I've like I said, I've never been on a Tui ship before. But look at it. I can't believe that was our first cruise ship like that similar size. And it's if you look if you look at our actual top deck, our top deck to their top deck. It's crazy. Size difference is mad. Absolutely mad. Presently, you'll actually be able to see the gangway has actually just come up on this ship now. And they're actually at the moment talking about it's not the size that matters because on cruise ships, I don't know if you've ever if you've never sailed before, basically you've got these big things where a lot of noise comes out of and he'll blow his horn, we'll end up blowing our horn, and we'll have basically a horn off. I don't know if that's what you call it, but yeah, something similar. And it'll actually be the first one we've had this cruise because thus far, I don't think we've had the horns blowing off against any other ship but you know looking at Morella you know I've been saying to Stevie all day I think we should do a Morella cruise I really do I think that we should do Morella cruise not anytime soon like but maybe in the maybe in the future it just looks like such a lovely ship and to be honest I think I've said this in these vlogs before but I'm a big fan of the smaller ships I don't know why I just I, I think it's just I don't know I'm just a bit I'm just a bit more of a fan of the smaller ships rather than these big big things like don't get us wrong I love Arvia and I love Iona but I don't know like a smaller ship just I don't know it, look, it basically looks like more my, more my cup of tea actually see there they've actually just set sail so I thought we were gonna go first but it's actually them going first and everyone's waving there's a small gas deck down there for my mum and my nana are on this cruise that's exactly where they would be having a cig smoking away wow there's so many of them oh my god like any poor day I can't start it without a good Costa coffee. Mm, oh, look at some of the raccoons. I don't know how well you can see me, we've actually just got off the bus for a quick pit stop, stopped at a church. 